when I'm recording this. Back in February, I went and took a three-day rifle course. Uh, and at the beginning of this rifle course that I took, there was a qualification shoot. And they told us, hey, if you fail this qualification shoot, you're out of the class. Like, you can't, you can't take the class. And uh, me and half the class failed the qualification shoot at the beginning of the class. Uh, now it ended up that they didn't really kick you out of the class, that was more there to kind of rile you and whatever, and, and there were some good reasons behind that, but that, that's not the point of the story. The point of the story is, I was mad. <laughs> I was so mad. I mean, me and half the class failed it. I, it's not like it was just me, but I was so frustrated with my performance and my, my skill set at that time, and, and just just the whole, the whole thing, right? And I was taking that class, and I'm like, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I should just hang it up. I shouldn't shoot guns anymore. I shouldn't pretend I should teach people to shoot guns anymore. I'm just an uh, unskilled hack, and, and I want to be in a pretender. It was a, it was a low point. It was actually a really good class. I learned a lot. But uh, then, recently here, just a couple weeks ago, I took another rifle class. And at the end of that rifle class, at the end of that rifle class, there was a qualification shoot. And the instructor told us beforehand he has a 94% failure rate on that qualification shoot. And uh, so as you do these classes, it was like 18, 20 of us on the line, right on the shooting line. And he goes down the line, he beeps you in all individually because they're all timed shots, right? We started at the 50 and we moved our way forward. And if you missed one of the headshots, you're immediately out. If you missed the guy on the target completely, you're immediately out. Uh, if you did something else stupid, you're just immediately out. And so as you go down the line and people are failing, they're going over time or they're missing their headshots or whatever, they're just people are walking off the line left and right, right? So we're going through this and we get down to the end. And on the last shoot, it's me and a uh, gentleman with the local sheriff's office who's on the SWAT team. And uh, that's it. Just us two passed the, the, the qualification shoot. Everybody else in the course failed the qualification shoot. And then at the end, they tallied up score, and I won. Now, am I bragging? Yeah, just, just a little bit. Like I, I'm, I was really proud of myself. 94% failure rate. And not only did I pass, but I, but I won. Uh, and as a, as a token for my winning, I got this thing which I'm excited to put in my rifle. It's a nice little Raptor charging handle. And I got this thing, which I will probably just put in my next, my next rifle build because I, I already have an Andy safety for my gun. Uh, so, I uh, even got a little bit of gear out of the deal, right? And I was happy. So, the reason I tell you that isn't to brag, although again, maybe a little bit, but primarily because, look, what, what happened? What happened between February and June, right? And I'll tell you what happened. I practiced a lot. I put in lots of dry fire time. I went to the range and worked on specific things that I wasn't good at, right? Like I found out at what distances my, my shots were breaking down and my groups were starting to come apart. And I really worked on those and I honed those. And, and I put in a lot of work so that next time I had the qualification shoot, I won. And again, that could have just been the day, right? I mean, I, I, there's, I could have easily failed that, right? But there, there's a, something to be said there about putting in the time, about putting in the practice, about putting in the work, and being able to have a payoff. And, and so it's a nice, neat, little, cute story, right, that, that I tell you because I want you to win next time, right? I want you to put in the time and the effort and the work and the dry practice, and when you go to the range, working on specific skill sets so that you can build your overall skill set. Right? I think that some of us, because we don't get to the range very often, we want to go to the range and we just want to do it all, right? We want to do everything. And that's not the way to do it, right? That's not the way to do it at all. You gotta work, break it down on specific things. Like, okay, this time at the range, you know, I have 30 minutes, I have an hour, I have whatever, but I'm just gonna work on this thing. Like, okay, at 10 yards, my shots start to fall apart. Or at 25 yards, my shots start to fall apart. Or at 50 yards, my shots start to fall apart, or whatever. Pick that, pick that distance, pick that target size, be it an eight inch circle or an A zone or whatever, 
and say, okay, I'm gonna work on that. I'm gonna work on this distance and this skill set, and I'm gonna build that. And then over time, you're collecting those things, and that's gonna make you an overall better shooter so that you win your next qualification shoot. So I hope that's inspiring. I hope that's helpful. I hope that's like, man, if Dylan, who's incompetent, can do it, surely I can do it. Uh, I, I hope that helps you because I want you to be a better shooter. Uh, come see me, come see someone else, build those shooting skills, and let's get you there to win your next shoot. Because it might be a shoot for your life. Do brave deeds and endure.